In this video, we will learn the end plate type shear connection. It is also a shear connection, hence it will not transfer any flexor to the support. The end plate is welded to column but may be bolted or welded to the beam. This type of connection is only intended to transfer shear force to the supporting member. The scenario in this video involves design of purlin to the column connection as shear connection. The ETAPS model of the structure member design is already provided. Check link in description for ETAPS course. Design the shear connection for the beam column. We have two types. The type of connection in RAM co connection is referred as BCW and BCF, beam column web and beam column flange connection. In this video, we will have a look on both of the type of connection designs. First, we have to f identify which connections are to be designed here. Since we are interested in designing the column to girder connection, so we will hide the unnecessary components. The edge members are the moment resisting frames and no flexor was released. So there will be moment connection. So I have hidden them and next I am hiding the members which are also unnecessary that are purlins. We designed the purlin connection to the girder connection in first video. Now these are the only important members whose connection will be designed. This is connection for beam column flange connection. The beam column flange connection is also which we are focusing in the lecture. This is beam column flange connection also referred as BCF. While this is beam column web connection also referred as BCW. So we will be designing both of these connections as shear connections in this video. It is important that the end must be released with from flexure as the nodes show here that the moment is released. Let's start with BCF connection that is beam column flange connection. First we will be defining the members, the girder member or the beam member here that was W18 by 35 and the column section we can check the column section from ETAPS you can use any analysis software you can are comfortable with I am using ETAPS because we have completed the ETAPS course the link to complete ETAPS course is given in description of this video okay so I have selected the member now let's check the beam length conservatively you can take the larger of the beam lengths if there is much difference you need to assign design the members separately and also their connections so the length of the beam column flange connection gives us beam length of 20 feet so i have defined the members now i'll add the load cases load cases are important part of load combinations you can also add wind load if you have taken in your design model okay now I'll, I'll be generating the combinations since we are using AISCE LRFD factored load combinations these are the list of load combinations and the automatic generated combinations will be generated as per the code now in order to add the forces in the members since it is a shear connection so the only important forces for this connection are shear force and axial force as we already knew that the connection will not be transferring any moment to the support that is column here so we will be having zero moment transfer so the beam column fl flange connection members i am selecting and will be hiding the rest of the members so these are the members having beam column flange connection so let's start with the axial forces i have to pick the highest axial force in order to design the combination for the most critical forces if there is much variation in the forces you need to take or design the combinations of the connection separately here there is a compressive force due to dead load and a compressive force due to live load I am picking up the highest value that is 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव थ्री सिमिलरली डी टू सीज में एक्चुअल फोर्सेस ड्यू टू सीज मेक एज इट इज अ मोमेंट रेजिस्टिंग फ्रेम सो वी आर गेटिंग एक्चुअल फोर्सेस हेयर इन दी गर्डर्स ऑल दो वी हैव रिलीज दी मोमेंट्स लेट्स पिक दी हाइएस्ट फोर्स दैट इज माइनस पॉइंट वन जीरो वन जीरो पॉइंट वन टू Similarly for E Y, the highest value we need to pick up while deciding which signs to select, you need to see the signs of dead load and live load. If they are all positive, then you can prefer a positive sign when loading the lateral forces. as the combined connection will give us the maximum positive or negative force which was selected respectively as we are interested to design for the maximum force and their combined effects now we are loading the shear forces from the e tabs software i repeat that you can use any analysis software as i have used e tabs because we have completed the e tabs course and you can see the link in description to the e tab scores similarly for the shear force due to live load shear force due to seismic there is no shear force due to seismic as there is no moment due to seismic similarly in y direction we know that there will be no flexion in the joint as we have released the moments so there is zero flexion moment here okay we are loaded with the forces here now let's assign a new connection that was beam column web connection and the members are still the same column and beam are same while the length of the beam is different in this direction so let's first select only the members let's first turn on the visibility of only those members that are beam column web connection and the flexion is released as the edge part of the building is a moment resisting frame so i have not released the moments from there while the interior frame is gravitational frame it is also a moment resisting frame but i have released the flexure for the video purpose so the length is 15 feet the load cases that's a good thing are already loaded as i have loaded in the bcf connection now only thing i have to load here is the axial force and shear force as we know that there will be no flexion acting here as it's a shear connection now the maximum axial force due to dead load here is and similarly due to live load as 0.014 0.01 okay while designing for the signs as already told you need to pick up negative or positive values based on the signs of dead load and live load if dead load and live load axial forces are negative you can take the lateral force signs as negative to make the critical combination similarly for shear force Live load shear force, and is one point four one six. Shear force due to seismic in x direction and y direction, 
and there is no flexure at the joints near the supports which already identified as it's a shear connection now let's start with the bcf connection design assign the basic connection since the video is about da sorry it's about end plate connection so we'll be assigning the connection type as shear plate the name is end plate when the connection is between beam and column and it's also called shear plate when it's between beam and girder so as we can see the stress ratio is in green color and is 0.47 that is less than one so the connection is okay here are the design forces we can further economize the connection omen connection exists currently no the beam properties here are shown which we can also change and the column properties the column is ending at this point as it's a single story structure in the video so i clicked on column and yes top plate thickness i can take as half inches as you see the stress ratio turned yellow which was not good and it's not passing one of or few code checks so that's fine since the stress ratio is very much less than one so i can further reduce the bolt diameter now it's 0.85 so i have to increase the rows of the bolts to pass it or since there are a lot of connections so we have to make it economize it's recommended that at least take the minimum connection weld size as quarter inch practical experience so you can always take it less but my recommendation is always take at least quarter inch green color shows here that the connection is satisfying the code checks we can also export the drawing to autocad format and check the results as well and the ratio here show, shows that the connection is designed and is passed green color shows it is passed yellow color shows it's failing one or two code checks red color shows means failing so we are in green color with this connection as well the connection forces are shown moment connection does not exist currently for the video purpose the beam properties is column and yes connector properties we can also reduce the bolt size as for the other connection and similarly the weld thickness as quarter inches check the dxf file which can also be exported to AutoCAD. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for complete tutorial of ETABs and other, and also check the link in description of the video for important courses.